Welcome to ADHD Whiskey, my name is Matt, and today is One Ounce Wednesday. On One Ounce Wednesday, I take a sample out of this box behind me, I pour it into a glass totally blind, I don't know what it is. I give the glass a swirl, I smell it, I taste it, I go into deep thought about it, I technically review it to my utmost capabilities, then I give it a score and we reveal the pour. If you're ready to get down and freaky, then let's get freaking down. Whew. Got one. America. Where do I put it? Where do I put it? There. There. It's safe there. Glass. Look at it spin so nicely in that Jeremy Sires whiskey glass. Is Jeremy Sires my friend? No. But he does call me ADH whiskey, which is pretty neat. But if we got a chance to know each other, I bet you we'd be thicker than beard butter brother. Going in for a nose on this one ounce Wednesday. Hmm. Wow. A bit of sour fruit. This smells like the grapes that they're stepping on in the vineyard or wherever they're doing it. You've seen the shows or like the film or whatever of when they're mushing the grapes with their bare feet. It smells like bare feet and grapes a bit. It's got a little minerality to it definite Tennessee whiskey vibes on the nose of this. If it's not Tennessee whiskey vibes I'm getting off of here, then it is something that mimics it very well, which could be a cognac, an Armagnac, a brandy, an apple brandy, my wife's friend brandy, who has very pretty eyes. She's got pretty eyes. And she kind of looks like Jennifer Lawrence, but not anymore, because Jennifer Lawrence looks weird now. Did you watch that one movie where she was like, swimming naked with a boy or whatever, and then like it showed her boobies? But like, I don't think that they were her boobies, but it could have been, but I doubt it because it's like, I don't think, it's got it with all the AI and CGI and all the eyes nowadays, I'm sure that my eyes didn't actually see her breasts. They were probably digitally manufactured. Anyway, that movie, what's it called? Can't remember, but she looked weird in that movie. She looked like she had plastic face, like an alien. Like Demi Lovato is an alien. Write that down, she is. When the list comes down who's aliens, Demi Lovato's gonna be like number one. And then somewhere on that list, like in 2022, Jennifer Lawrence got abducted. Her body did. And plastic face. Natural breasts though. Where was I? Oh yeah, Brandy. Mm -hmm. Definite citrus notes coming out of here, like a little bit of orange oil which is a dead giveaway for a Tennessee whiskey. Hopefully the sour citrus note on the nose turns into something on the palate that brightens up and glows in a fantastic way. There's only one way to find out, and that's for me to drink it. So, down the hatch. It's good. It dries out and kind of puckers at the end. Initial thought was like chocolate covered oranges. Those orange slices with the sugar coating you get at the gas station, if they weren't covered in sugar coating, but instead they were covered with the coating that they put on Sour Patch Kids. It was like a Sour Patch orange slice. But then as it got towards the end, the sourness kind of turned a bit bitter and like a little oaky. This kind of tastes maybe like an aged, an oaky aged Tennessee whiskey. Possibly a Barrel Craft Spirits product. Possibly a George Dickel single barrel. I don't know. Second sip. Actually, kind of liking this. I'm not one of the people who jump on board that I absolutely hate no matter what George Dickel train wagon. Train wagon? Wagon? The wagon? The boat? I try not to pile on the George Dickel hate because they do get a lot of it, but a lot of it is just not great. This is kind of like pretty good. It's a bit different. It's a bit outside my comfort zone as far as bourbons go, but I do believe that I quite enjoy this. It is fairly oaky. It is a fairly oaky whiskey. I'm gonna go all out and say that's a 15 year George Dickel single barrel. If this bottle is affordable, I will say that it is something that I will look to pick up. If it's from one of the companies that's sourcing Tennessee whiskey and then charging an arm and a leg for it, I'm not willing to give up an arm nor a leg. 
but I would shell out probably like 70 bucks for a bottle of this. And with that being said, on this one ounce Wednesday, this blind pour receives a score from me of 7.4. I could see myself reaching for this on occasion. It's a quality good sipper. Now let's find out what the heck it is. Today on One Ounce Wednesday, we were drinking Schwa. Barrel Craft Spirits, bourbon cask strength, 15 year, 104, 100.4 proof. This whiskey, I believe is very expensive. Do I enjoy it? Yeah. Would I pay the Barrel Craft Spirits cask strength 15 year price for it? No, I would not. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Yowzers, $250. No. So this is a blend of Kentucky, Tennessee, and Indiana bourbon with a 15 year age statement. But the only thing that you can taste in it is the 15 year Tennessee whiskey. I would have no idea that there was any other distillate from any other area in there. Like a drop of urine in an Olympic sized swimming pool. It had no effect. But if you love Tennessee whiskey and you love spending a lot of money on it, then Barrel Craft Spirits Cask Strength 15 Year Bourbon 2021 release is for you. I do believe this sample was from the great Jim Maselli. Thank you, Jim, for the pour. Thank you everyone for watching. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. If you're not subscribed, then do it, please. And then I will thank you right now. Thank you for just hitting subscribe. I appreciate that. Leave a comment down below. Silver Label and Gold Label Barrel Craft Spirits products. What do you think of them? Hmm? What you think? What you think about that? My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey. And like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on not shopping for automobiles because when you kill a Van Bergini and your insurance company doesn't want anything to do with you at all, they just ghost you and just leave you out, not having a Van Bergini and searching for cars, the car markets are rough, huh? There's expensive cars out there. Everything's so expensive. Like a lot of money for a lot of miles. Somebody else drove the thing for 80,000 miles? And then I still have to pay that? What? No! There will be a new automobile or slightly or very used automobile in the driveway at some point here in the near future and I can't wait to share it with you. I will do a reveal and hopefully it's not a Toyota Tercel from 1994.